Hello and welcome. What we're doing in this particular exercise is we are going to learn how to select hair, which is one of the most difficult things to select in Photoshop. Uh, and as a designer or a retoucher, you're going to have to do it on a regular basis. So, let's get started. Whenever we work in Photoshop, the first thing we always do is we duplicate our background. Command J on our keyboard. If you're on a PC, substitute command with control. I'm going to double click where it says layer one, right? Just get right underneath it, double click, and I'm going to call this hair selection. The real power in Photoshop is not in the filters, it is not in layers, it is not what you think it is. The real power of Photoshop are in alpha channels. Alpha, channel, alpha channels hold all of the color information and detail of an image or a special effect. Whatever it is you're working in, in Photoshop, that's where all the detail and color exist. Currently we are working in RGB mode, which is generally used for television, the, the internet, and anything that has a screen. And if you aren't aware of what RGB stands for, uh, it stands for red, green, and blue. We're going to use a channel to select that hair, because I'll bet one of these channels has a very uh, has decent contrast. So let's take a look. We'll start with red. Not bad. Green is even better. I can already tell that blue is going to be the best. So let's duplicate our blue channel by dragging it in onto our new channel icon right here. And I'm going to hit Command M on my keyboard for my curves dialog box. And what we do is we click on this line. This is my light point up here. And here's my dark point down here. I'll draw something like that, I guess. I'm going to click OK. OK, now I want to draw out all these areas here, like her face and her shirt. So I'm going to use the Lasso tool, which is a really handy selection tool. L on my keyboard for Lasso. I'm going to hold Option and Shift down on my keyboard as well at the same time. And I'm going to try to get this little piece of hair right there. Very good. I want to fill that selection with black now because what we're creating is a selection channel. So to fill with black in Photoshop, the quick key is to fill with our foreground color, which you can see right here is black. Option, delete, option, delete, or alt, delete on a PC. Command D to deselect, to get rid of the marching ants. Command D. What I want to do now is brush away some of the gray areas here so we get a real clear uh, selection. So hit B on your keyboard, B for brush. And up here in our modes, I would like you to choose Overlay. And if you right click on a PC, control click on a Mac, you will get your brush dialog box will come up like this. And you can choose a hardness that you like. Um, I think for this I'm going to do a hardness of, let's try zero.
I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to undo. I think zero. Now to undo, we have multiple undos. Command Option Z. I don't know if I want to hardness that. I'm going to, yeah, here we go. Clean it up slightly. And you can see the difference here. And it's really just on the outside that you want to do this. Okay, that's pretty good. Command L for levels. Okay, so usually what we get in our levels dialog box is there'll be a histogram here, which tells you what kind of information is in a channel or a, in, an, in an image. And, and on this channel, we, we have no information. It's pretty much just nothing. So anything we do here is it'll have very little effect. So let's go back to our composite by clicking on our hair selection layer. Or alternatively, you could click on the RGB composite channel here, which is just encompassing the main three channels, red, green, and blue. I'm going to load my blue copy as a selection by command clicking it holding my command key or control if you're on a PC. And that'll load your selection like so. Let's turn off our background layer and hit delete. Command D to deselect. Command D. We have a pretty decent selection there. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go to my background right now. I'm going to click on the new layer icon and I'm going to type this right here, I double clicked and I'm going to type in green screen. So I just type in right on the title of the layer. And as you can see, we got a decent selection. That, that looks pretty good. To take it a step further, click on your hair selection layer and go down to your, go to your layer pull down menu. There is no click key for this. And you want to go down to matting, remove white mat and that'll remove any white edges on the hair there. So we've got a really deep, oh, that, looks, that looks good. So that is your first extracting hair exercise, and we did it uh, manually using channels, which is the best way to do it. Uh, we'll be doing more challenging exercises like this later, but this one's pretty challenging. Good luck, and we'll see you in our weekly webinars. Bye-bye.